Hello, welcome back to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie, and today we are going to do tags. I cut out a bunch of tags the other day of vanilla envelopes or foldings. Some of them's got stuff on them. Some of them don't. But I've got these two sheets of paper, but I'm going to try to see how many tags we can make out of two sheets of paper. And then the paper is... What about eight by eight? If it is that big. Seven and a half by... Seven and three quarters. So... There we have it. But I like butterflies. And I'm going... Cheese. Marine, Marine light. Has helped me. Some of them I'm going to stir off. I'm, I'm going to use, use um, stick glue. Now I'm just, just going to glue this up really, really good. And now I'm working on wax paper. Because, because it don't, don't give off the shine like my off the glass that I use. Now, now I am going to line this up with this butterfly the best I can. Then we're going to just cut that little sucker out. And I'm, I'm just going to follow the shape of the tag. I'm using my kettle piece. I am. Oh, I think this um glue removal thing here from Dollar Tree. I'm just cutting this out. This also. And how can we move that further far? Oh, yeah. Good deal. Okay. okay. Now, now I'm going to take a set of stamps. And these take them to move. If I can find them on Amazon or. Oh. Let me get down low. But this is great for junk journaling. All these. Good for the and I'm just going to take a label wipe and wipe my stamp off. And as I said in my previous video, I'm trying to keep my desk clean. At least I want to carry it clean. I'm going to use brown ink and I'm just using Stampability's Acid Free Ink Pad Dye for this. But, but don't, don't fall in your trap. Whatever you do. 
We're going to need every piece of it. And I'm just going to poke a hole. Punch a hole. A poke. How about that? It's in the scene. No, it's not. It's what it is. Let's try something different. Oh, this one. Okay, on this next sheet, I'm going to get it, try to get it most of these ones. Now, I'm just going to try this out a little. Okay. 
Most of these is about two and a half inches wide, I'd say, that I'm using.
Now we're going, I'm going to go back to this page. And how many tags you make is depending on the size of your tags. This one's going to be a little bigger one. And I'm just Nope. nope. And I'm, I'm just, just going to use this one as a drawing tag. But all I'm going to do is ink it. And like I said, when I get rid really of these and I may decide to put the nails, I don't know. Oh, 
I mean, I they saw a lady. lady. She's not going to cooperate with me. And I just made that dangle, but still got ink it. Very good. Drop it in the tag, put a lace. So you need to do all this. Just, I don't know, it just makes it stand out more to me. My opinion. Okay, okay let's, let's see if we can make one more tag. We. I'm 
Now I'm just turning this, I mean, you can do so many different ways to add text from, to your tags. Um, I'm just going to add this one to the bottom of the page. Just going to I do have the Tim Holtz rough edge 
Don't use it a whole lot. I feel about it. Don't let's see if I can make this whole uh bottle again. I'm not even gonna try. Hey. I'm gonna dang dang with this. Just a little. I know no, it's not straight, but I know it is. Oh man, this video is on the minute for the day. Okay. I'm just going to trim this bag up. My cow. And it is. I'm going to make. I mean. Sitting around watching TV, you can make a bunch of these. With the two, you know, just sheets of paper that matches them, that you like together. <coughs> Don't have to mean they all have to look all white. Right, because they might know. I'll show you the examples. So we we'll work up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I love that. That little two sheets of paper. And then the ones that I did beforehand, I just seeing. Well, all I could, could do, do. Let's see. I didn't get, get that even out of it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like that. So. But you can piece them together like this one. I'm one missing. I got a piece one missing. Got a piece two together. There it is. 
And in fact, if I did eat Ingram and ate the Gomez one, which I had, but I didn't give it in time. And then this one I named Popcorn. And it's off center too. So, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it off center. But I hope y'all enjoyed this short video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment below. And let me know what y'all would like to see. I'm hoping, I mean, this chemo is kicking my honey. This room. So, hopefully it's kicking the cancer out of my body. As bad as it wants. And as the sick as I've been. Um, today's been one of the roughest days I've had since this round of chemo. And uh, y'all just keep your nerves. I know God's got it. God has had it from the get go. And I just got to keep on plugging through. And doing what God has, has asked me to do. Um, is it easy? No. Like today, I want to have a pity party. But I'm not going to allow it. Because it's just the devil fighting me. And the devil ain't winning, winning this battle. battle. Jesus is winning this battle. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll catch y'all later. And I, like I said, I hope this is a better audio than the last one. Bye. Bye.